Hello all, my name is Abdul Rahman and in this video we are going to talk about data types. So in the last video we have installed MySQL and PopSQL which is a basically an editor. So in this video I will be creating, first of all I will be creating a database. So for that I will be I will be opening MySQL command line. Okay, so I will be opening my SQL command line client. After opening it, it's going to ask me, it's asking me the password that I have set up while installation of my SQL. So I will be entering the password that I have saved. Set. Okay, so now I have entered my password and now I have to create database. Okay, so first of all, I will be creating the database. So for that I will be entering the command which is known as create create database create database so here I will be giving only create database after that we have to give the name of the database that you want to create so I will be giving my name that is here after that I will be giving semicolon and now here I am going to hit enter ok so before that I have created the database in the last video so I forgot it ok anyhow so now I have we have created the database and now I want to populate the database with different tables ok so whenever you are working with relational database management system our first step is to create the tables so before start before we start any information or we start querying for information we have to create physical table inside the database and we can do that by defining the tables layout so for doing that we need to use sql command which is called create table and in and then inside that inside of that we can pass all of the attributes attributes that we can that we want in our table so first of all I want to show you th the different types of data so I will be opening the pop sequel ok so now it's opening ok so after setting up the my pop sequel the first page will be like this my my first shared query so then in the my queries i have created a file known as untitled query and then i have given the types of data so these are the six, six types of data types these are the six different data types that i am going to talk about it so remember these are all these are not all of the database in sql so there are lots of database but I am going to show you the database, the data types that I am going to use in this video, in the, f in the f further videos. So there are actually, there are lots of data types, it's depending on the relational database management system that we are using. But as you can see here, we have some of the data types, some of the basic data types that we are going to use in the SQL. So we are using SQL database and all of these database data types are going to be used in MySQL database management system. But specific database management system will allow us to use different data types. It's depending on it's depending on how on us that how we want to implement. So now I'm going to go through these data types and I'm going to tell about how to use them a little bit. So let's start with the first one which is the int int okay so so first of all int refers int refers to the integer okay so but in my sequel int means int int means any whole number and you cannot add decimal places to it okay so like for example i have a number like i have a number 13 okay so for the 13 I can't add some of the decimal places, some like 2, 3 or whatever. I can't add in the whole numbers. So if you want to add that, we can use the second data type, 
which is decimal decimal numbers where where we can add the decimal places after it so if you want to store the decimals you can use this data type which is decimal and the decimal data type will allow us to store the decimals so now as you can see here we have some of the parentheses beside decimal which is x and y so here x is going to be the total number of digits total number of digits that you want to store for this number and y is going to y is going to be the number of digits that you want to store after the decimal point like here i have some one, some number like 13 okay so here i want to store i am storing here is two digits i am giving here two digits of number so x is going to be the total number of digits like i will be giving x 13 point some 2 5 4 three. okay so we are we have how many digits we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 we have total 5 digits so in place of x we have to give is total number of digits that we are going to use here that you want to store for this number these 5 okay you have to store is 5 and y is going to be the total number of, y is going to be the number of digits that you want to store after the decimal point okay so here we have 5 so before point before the point we have 13 we have two digits if we remove two digits oh sorry we have 6 1 6 okay so we have to this uh, these are the two and we have 2 4 2 5 4 3 these are the four digits okay so these are the four digits so y is going to be the number of digits that you want to store after the decimal point so i want to store four digits is i'll be giving four so this is the total number of digits and four is the number of digits after the decimal point so i'll be giving as it is okay so now we have the third data type which is varchar v a r c h r so varchar basically stands for variable character and variable character varchar is used for storing the string of text so here we have parentheses after varchar in the parentheses i have given is 1 so then this is going to store a string of text which is the length 1 okay i'm going to store the length like for example here i'm going to store is 100 okay so i'm going to the length of the string of text is 100 so let it be one and the fourth one is the fourth data data type is blob so which stands for binary large large objects which stores the data blob stand for binary of ob large object and this is just a structure that can store the large amount of binary data so lots of people will use this blob binary large object as for storing the images files videos and etc inside of a blob binary large object so now after that we have date date so after that we have date which will be a specific date and then after date date means like year which is the year y y y m m and d d which is the four digits will be year and two digits will be the month which is the month and the these two digits will be the day date and the end the end we have the last final one is time stamp so it's going to store y y y m m m d d year month date and we have hours minutes and seconds okay so it's similar to it's similar to date but it's basically used for storing for recording when things happen like something inserted in the tables like for example i have a table okay and in the table i have inserted something like at some time let's say at 10 31 it's the time is 10 32 so i have the inserted something in the table at the time 10 minutes at 10 32 okay 
so this will be the storing this will be the recording when things happen like I have when I have inserted the data in the table and when I have deleted the data in the table so it has same like year month date but it has one more extra that is hours minutes and seconds so anyhow guys that's all for this video and in the next video I will be talking about altering deleting and inserting the data into the tables and how can we create the data how can we create the tables so anyhow guys that's all for this video thanks for watching this video and thank you bye bye